Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Boone, the Supreme Inspector, coming at you all with a top 10 list video of the worst, ugliest, dookiest Supreme items to ever exist. Um, I actually did a video kind of similar to this before of the worst Supreme collabs to ever exist and you guys seem to like that video. So I decided let's take it a step further and just look at the 10 worst items Supreme has ever made. Um, obviously there's like so many things that could fall on this list so let me know right away the ugliest Supreme item you think exists. Before we begin this video and talk about the ugly, we gotta show off the beautiful brand new subscriber of the week and this one is very suspect. This week we got my mans in the all over leopard print fit. He's got the boxers with the Hanes tee. Um, just the fact that like this dude's homie took this photo for him in a locker room is very suspect but I love it. So this is our brand new sub of the week. If you want to be a subscriber of the week all you have to do is join the discord and also join my patreon. To join my discord all you have to do is drop a sub on my channel and hit me up on my instagram at boone with proof you sub. My patreon links in the description. Me and my kitty are now going to begin this video for you all. Let's get started. So starting it off, this one hits close to home because I'm actually wearing an item from this collaboration. We got the Supreme Second Tani Norihiro collaboration, but specifically we're coming at these pants because these things are atrocities. Like I'm actually a pretty big fan of this collaboration. I definitely was not a hater like some other people. I will say like if you watch my video, my first reaction to this lookbook, I had no idea how to feel. I was certainly disturbed by some of the images but it definitely grew on me like to the point where I copped some stuff for myself and actually this is like one of my more favorite collabs from the last season which is kind of troubling news because I don't know there wasn't that great of collabs last season but this one was especially like rough on the imagery and these pants man like I just had to call a timeout these are a foul because I don't know what's going on with these but we got these two kids with like what God knows what that is on their face I can't tell if this is some like face mask or they just got initiated into the blood but they're reaching out for like the glow gang sun that's up my in the my. corner of the pants like I don't know what's going on with these I have zero idea these are extremely unwearable like these are some of the loudest print pants I've ever seen from Supreme. There are some more like just crazy items from this collab, but I thought these especially were just like not doable. But that's just the number 10 slot. We're gonna get way more nasty with this list. So for the number nine slot, we got the blood semen pants and hoodie. More specifically the pants though. Again, the hoodie is like, it's doable. Like, I mean, I would certainly not wear it. It's definitely weird that it's like blood semen. Like, I don't know. It looks very bizarre on body, but definitely the pants specifically are so bad and my man Antonio Brown came through had to do it to him with like the worst fit of 2019 I think this was the beginning of the end for Antonio Brown when he put on this outfit everyone wants to blame his weird antics on CTE nah it's definitely from this outfit I'm literally getting CTE looking at my man's fit because this is so bad now the reason I have these at my number nine slot is because there is a cool backstory behind the design um, it actually was from a Metallica album cover which definitely makes it like cool I guess um, that doesn't mean it looks good though on clothing I will say though um, like on the shoes they did the vans I did not think this looked as bad even the hats I would say were not as bad as the hoodie and the pants the pants specifically are such a no-go if you cop these pants I'm worried about you and I never want to be left alone in the same room as you because like bro you got blood and semen on your pants you need to calm down but again it's gonna get way worse from here don't worry if you're still like I don't know it's not that bad like it's gonna get brutal so that's the number eight. Let's move on to number seven, which is our first non-clothing item. Supreme and Nike must have been on some like three day acid binge when they decided it was a good idea to release this sneaker because oh my God, this is one of the most disgusting shoes and just shoe models in general I've ever seen come out of Supreme and Nike's collabs. We got the Supreme Nike Air Humera puke sneakers you guys have seen these on my channel before I've roasted these so many times it's almost getting old at this point like it's such an easy thing to just point at and be like supreme this is trash but I mean I couldn't leave it off this list this is probably like top three worst sneakers I've ever seen supreme make and this little photo of them with 3m definitely makes them look 10 times better than they do in the normal lighting where they look just horrid um, I think these are so bad like the black pair I kind of can give a pass to but you got these super loud colorways on a really just bizarre like it's awful it's all bad I don't know why Supreme decided this was a good idea um, these definitely deserve their place on this list at number seven but let's keep going number six on the list we got the t-shirt that might be like 
one of the worst t-shirts Supreme has ever made and I'm talking about the Mike Kelly Empire State Building big old dick I don't know who thought this belonged on a t-shirt but I oh my god I hate to say this but I actually did buy one of these shirts when it released the little Supreme box logo in the corner fooled me all right I fell for it I was like maybe like there's a Supreme box logo it might resell no no, it does not resell at all. Do not ever touch this. You don't want to see it in person. It doesn't get better. And I could even add the other Mike Kelly tee they did in this collab that was atrocious. Um, the hiding from Indians graphic. Um, but moving on, this is an item that I will say is not like the ugliest on this list by far. However, the type of clothing item it is added together with like the insane retail they asked for this. I had to put it on the list because I've never seen anyone rock this and make it look good. We got the Supreme Gore-Tex Poncho and I remember some of you guys came at my throat and I said that this was super cringy, just trash. Um, some people were like, bro, you're tripping, the poncho's hard. Where are y'all at now though? Like, I do not see those people defending this poncho anymore, especially when it's now bricking so bad, it's almost going for half of retail. First off, who rocks a poncho unless they're at like Disney World? I don't know. Second off, why would you want a poncho that just Scream Supreme so loudly, like there's no chance you can flex this and make it look cool. I will dead ass send somebody $5 PayPal if they show me an image where this does not look horrible on body because every time I've seen it on someone's fit, I just want to throw up and cry in the corner because it's so ugly, bro. 428 retail too. Supreme really jugged some of y'all. If you bought this for retail from Supreme, I guarantee you were getting jugged for Kush back in the day, copping oregano from high schoolers when you were in eighth grade or maybe that was just me let's keep going with this list though um next up oh this one's real good this might be one of the like ugliest items i've ever seen supreme release this is another collab i've come at before it's not fun to beat a dead horse but it is sure fun to beat a dead lion because we got the supreme lee quinones mistake of a collaboration like i don't know what this is bro this lion needs to chill more specifically in this collaboration i'm talking about the denim shorts though like these denim shorts with the lion and the like supreme spell out are so bad denim shorts on their own are terrible and should never be a thing but add on this horrible all over loud print and they're like neon green like these are just so ugly again i have never seen a fit where i was like you know what i'm glad he wore those shorts because it's impossible there's no chance you can style these not make them look trash i will say though the yard hooded sweatshirt and the pants actually grew on me a ton to the point i actually copped the pants rocked them in a fit pick looks kind of fire i do think it's cool supreme did a collaboration with like an old 90s graffiti writer um this is like way more of a 90s graffiti style where i don't know stuff was way more weird looking people hadn't quite figured out how to make graffiti look like good and now we're getting down to it folks we're getting to some of the worst supreme items that i think exist in the universe so plug your noses it's going to be downhill from here next up we got the vans john paul gautier um just <laughs> mistake of a shoe bro it was an absolute crime to put floral with like the awful colorways onto some vans chuckas like <laughs> why dude why would anyone think this was a good idea to release i have no idea i mean i am a hater for just black shoes for the most part i don't really enjoy black shoes because i don't know i just don't style them too well so the fact that these have these like light panels and then all these black highlights on them just makes them so ugly then you add into the fact it's the chuck of vans model which is maybe one of the worst i don't know why supreme ever thinks it's a good idea to put any design on a chucka i'm sure there's like two people that like the vans chucka model watching this video and i do apologize to you but you should also apologize to yourself if you think these are some fire shoes because they're not i'll even give a pass to the era pros because like they're somewhat wearable i wouldn't wear them but the chuckas nah bro it's a no-go for me these are horrendous. They bricked savagely. That's another thing. I'm pretty sure these had a way higher retail than usual. And that's gonna take us into the top three ugliest Supreme items to ever walk the planet. I'm so excited to share these ones with you guys. I still sometimes wake up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat, just realizing that this is an actual thing that exists on this earth. We got the Supreme 
comet sunglasses and these things actually make me wish another comet would come hit earth so we could all become extinct that would mean that these glasses no longer exist oh my christ why was this a release by supreme we will never know i like i can't bro i can't even look at these on my computer screen this is another item where i'm just searching for anyone that can style them in any kind of cool fashion maybe a girl could but that's the thing supreme's supposed to be a men's brand so these are supposed to be for men you are not a man if you rock these. I'm just gonna say it right now. Like, I'm taking your homie card. Like, you're just, you're cut. You're cut from the male species. You're done, because these are not it, ever, in no circumstances. I don't care if they're supreme. I definitely don't care if retail was like 150. You really dropped 150 on these, bro? Like, <laughs> take a walk. I'm just kidding. I'm not actually trying to like roast people that cop this stuff, but come on, you guys. These are so ugly. Don't try to defend these. Supreme is infamous for making bad sunglasses, and this is like the bottom of the bottom. Um, there's no coming up from these bro these are so trash i had to put them on the list <sighs> they're so bad so <laughs> that's the number three slot let's move on to number two next up again man like i got nothing to say about this i don't know supreme you're gonna have to explain yourself we got the quilted satin sideline parka and, oh ugh, like three of the things i just named there are things i hate um satin for the most part nah it's a miss from me sideline parkas never for the most part supreme parkas look so bad add in the fact that there's a supreme arc logo on the back and i gotta dip like i just don't even want to be talking about this item it's so trash bro why would you buy this not only do these have just the most nasty shiny look to them but the colorways are just trash and it's a parka and then like i'm sorry just don't buy this please if you own this item like I'm so sorry, man. Like, go get some help, please, because you should not ever have thought this was a good idea to buy. Nobody is dapping you up like, yeah, bro, that shit's hard. Like, nobody. I would love to meet the, I would not like to meet the guy. Let me correct myself. Please don't talk to me ever if you think this is dope. I don't even got to speak on the ARC logo. Y'all know my feelings on that, but let's continue on. We do have some honorable mentions before we go into our number one slot. Oh, it's bad, but let's go talk about some of my favorite awful items before we get into the worst of the worst. First off, y'all were waiting for this on the list. I already know. We got my OG, the Supreme Snakeskin TNF collab. Oh, classic. Just a classic. I've talked about this collab so many times. Unfortunately, I was a survivor of owning one of these awful jackets, but I'm not even coming after the jackets specifically. Actually, yes, I am. Oh, the whole collab was trash. Like, none of this stuff was good. I guess the tent was kind of cool, but like, yeah, I mean, it's really no. The fact it's Supreme TNF, which we expect so much from, I felt like it deserved an honorable mention. I just didn't want to put it on my actual list, though, because I have talked about this collab so many times. Like, we get it. It's ugly. But I had to mention it one more time. We got one more honorable mention as well. Um, the Supreme Fall Winter 19 Backpack. What the hell were these, bro? Whoever purchases this backpack is straight up paranoid because there's so many little clasps all over it. You'd have to open up like three different buckles just to be able to unzip this shit. You must be like hiding some paraphernalia in this bitch or something because it just looks so unusable. Not to mention it's super ugly. The colorways were awful. Like this camel one, like, oh my God, like no. But let's just roll into our number one slot. What I think might be the ugliest Supreme item I have ever seen. You would legitimately have to be blind to think this is not absolutely awful and there probably are worse supreme items you guys have to help me out um, if i miss some stuff but let's just hop into it we got the supreme bleach buffalo flannel oh, what is this thing someone actually in my discord showed this to me shout out to the boys in the discord for helping me make this list but my man's pulled up with a photo of this and i was like that's the one bro that is the worst thing I have ever seen from Supreme. This looks like some terrible 13 year olds like Instagram design um, of just pouring bleach all over a flannel. And the worst part about this, like the absolute crime in this flannel is the fact that they probably charged like 120, 130 bucks, maybe even more because they bleached it. Like. <laughs> Why? Why would you buy this? Why would you think this is cool? I could not imagine anyone being like, yeah, bro, like that shit's tough. Like, first off, if you really wanted to, you could do this yourself. Second off, why would you? Why would you think this is dope? I think it's awful. At the end of the day, though, everyone has their own style choices, so I'm sure there's one person in the comments ready to defend this. I pray the Lord shines his light on you. But at the end of this list, I do just want to quickly say, um, I'm not going to, like, knock people for the stuff they wear. Everyone, go enjoy what you want to enjoy. I just personally think these are the 10 worst supreme items i've ever seen if you want cum stains all over your flannel 
be my guest. More for you, because I'm not copping that shit ever in my lifetime. But that's the video. If you guys want more top 10 videos, drop a like. Let me know in the comments any other ideas you have or anything I missed, like I said. I'd be really curious to find some more Supreme stuff that's ugly. Um, it's not too hard to do. I'll see you in the next one, though. It's been your boy, Boone. I hope you guys enjoyed banger videos on the way. I'll see you in the next one, though. I'm out. Peace. If I went down again, would you hit the